Good afternoon. I am Joe Crepito, president of the Greendale Board of Education. And on behalf of the entire Greendale School Board, it is my honor to welcome you to the 2019 Greendale High School commencement ceremony. As graduates, you are here to say goodbye to the school that has been an integral part of your lives for the past four years. You are here to turn the page together as a class to the next chapter of your exciting lives. And most importantly, you are here to celebrate the accomplishments, remember and learn from the temporary setbacks, and to realize that you will soon apply the many lessons that have shaped you over these years at Greendale High School. And while you walk across the stage this afternoon, individually, to receive your diploma, please take a look around and see the support of your family, friends, faculty, and fellow classmates who all have played an important part in getting you here today. Before we proceed with today's ceremony, I ask you to please rise and join in the singing of our national anthem played by the senior members of our 15-time state champion Greendale High School Marching Band, directed by Mr. Tom Reifenberg, and as listed in your program, accompanied by five students who will sign from our American Sign Language class. Notice. Good afternoon and welcome to the commencement ceremony for the class of 2019. <laughs> I'd like to first start off by congratulating my peers. This class truly has an unbelievable magnitude of different skills, talents, and passions that have been shaped through hard work and determination over the past four years. I can't wait to see all of the amazing ways that the Greendale class of 2019 will change the world. My name is Angeline Terry, and I have had the distinct honor of serving as student council president and school board representative for this graduating class. 
Working on the school board has given me a unique insight to the amount of work that goes into things that I used to take for granted. And I have become incredibly grateful for all of the time and commitment that goes into the education of a Greendale graduate. I have also been fortunate enough to meet many inspiring leaders who work diligently to serve the individuals who make up the broader Greendale community, one of whom is Dr. Gary Kiltz. Dr. Kiltz is a strategic and hardworking educator who is always striving for ways to improve Greendale schools. He has used his position as superintendent to advance student engagement, encourage hands-on learning experiences, and strengthen the relationship between Greendale schools and the larger community. His work is purposefully student-focused. He is always looking for new ways to enrich the experience of Greendale students. He is an incredible model of what it looks like to be a thoughtful and committed educator. And Greendale Schools is extremely fortunate for the positive influence he has made on this community. Without any further ado, please welcome me in joining Greendale Superintendent Dr. Gary Kiltz to the podium. Thank you, Annie. I appreciate that introduction. Good morning, Mr. Lotus. Thank you very much for ordering up this beautiful weather. I don't think we could ask for anything better. It's truly an honor for me to be here as Greendale's superintendent to congratulate the class of 2019. On behalf of the administrative team and the board, I'm very proud of you and wish you the best beyond Greendale. As a lifelong educator, I love children's books for the simple yet compelling messages that they convey about life and living to its fullest. One book that I want to share today is a book by Pat Zitlo Miller entitled Wherever You Go. Not sure if anyone's read this? Students? No? That's all right, because I'm going to read it to you today. So I'm choosing this book because I think there are some profound messages for our graduating seniors. So here we go. When it's time for a journey to learn and to grow, roads guide your footsteps wherever you go. Roads give you chances to seek and explore. Want an adventure, seniors? Just open the door. Roads go. If you yearn for the ocean or wish for a stream, roads bring you closer to reaching your dream. Roads bend. Detours head where you wouldn't expect showing you various ways to connect, bringing you closer than curving away. You always have choices to go or to stay. Roads reach across flowing rivers, past harbors and bays, with breathtaking bridges designed to amaze. Attaching two places that once were apart, choose to cross over, follow your heart. Roads grow. Well-traveled roads sometimes need extra space to guide life's adventures to a new place. Which path should you choose? That's easy to see. The one that will take you where you wish to be. Roads climb. Steep mountain peaks dusted lightly with snow, rising ab above the deep canyon below, clinging to cliffs, chasing a cloud, reaching the top, tired but proud. Roads remember every life landmark, the big and the small, the moments you tripped, the times you stood tall. Where are you going and where you began, what you expected and what you didn't plan? Roads return. During your journey, you'll ramble and roam, but sooner or later, you'll think of your home. After you've seen all you needed to see, a road takes you back where you're longing to be. Back to that hill, under that bridge, deep in the valley, high on your ridge. Roads take you all over the planet, but then you always can follow them home once again. So graduates know that you're going out into adulthood, loved and supported as part of the larger Greendale family. We look forward to you coming home, parents even for just a visit. Take care, be safe, love and laugh. Congratulations, class of 2019.
Good morning, everyone. My name is Anna Hawley, and I had the pleasure of serving as a senior class officer this year. First, I would like to thank every staff member at Greendale High School for helping us get through our four years here at GHS. While at times it may have seemed like the hardest class ever, and you may have yelled at us for disrupting the class yet again, or even laughed with us about our jokes about senioritis, you shaped us into the people we are today. And from the class of 2019, we thank you. Today, I have the opportunity to introduce a very special staff member, which our senior class collectively chose, Mr. Andrew Lash. Although I never had the pleasure to be in class with him, he was the coach of my winning powder puff team. <laughs> Mr. Lash is a Greendale High School alumni who thrived as a student in the classroom, attaining the honor of being one of the valedictorians of his class and went on to graduate from UW-Madison. I asked my classmates to describe Mr. Lash in a few words, and these are the, some of the words that came up. Personable, open, a genius, and an overall pretty chill guy. Pretty fitting, considering he won the teacher superlative for most likely not to give weekend homework. Mr. Lash is most likely to be found either teaching a physics or engineering course, helping a student after class, or hiding out in his office with Mr. Geiger. It was a close race for the staff speaker, but we are honored to have Mr. Lash represent our 2019 senior class. I know he's been looking forward to his speech, so please help me in welcoming to the podium, Mr. Andrew Lash. Good morning, friends, family, and members of the class of 2019. My name is Andy Lash, and I am a science teacher here at the high school. Each year, the students vote to select a staff speaker, and after a close race, they selected me. While preparing for this speech, I took su suggestions from some of the seniors on what they would like to hear. After hearing ideas such as video game strategies, Mr. Lash roasts the class of 2019, I decided to go a different route and give everyone one last science lesson. You have you have no one to blame but yourselves. <laughs> Albert Einstein is famous for his thoughts on time. Specifically, he thought that the flow of time could change just like any other variable in physics. Later scientists were able to collect data to confirm his hypothesis, but humans are rarely subject subjected to the conditions necessary to experience a change in physics time. Humans do, however, ex frequently experience a change in psychological or perceived time where some moments seem to go by faster than others. Summers now feel shorter than summers when you were longer, when you were younger. The next four years will go by faster than the last four years, and I'm sure the five minutes after this speech will go by faster than these five minutes during it. <laughs> Your brain's perception of time is influenced by memory. When you are making new memories, moments seem to take longer. Routines, on the other hand, are easy for your brain to go on cruise control, thereby making moments seem shorter. You have likely experienced this when traveling to a new location. The trip there usually seems to take longer than the trip home. With this information, we've arrived at your final assignment, so I hope you've been paying attention. This assignment has multiple parts because I know how much you like when teachers do that. Part one, take some time today to reflect on the past. Think about the memories you've made in the last four years. Personally, I'll remember the class of 2019 for their unwavering dedication and focus during physical science class, for the early mornings spent together retaking physics quizzes, or for their valiant efforts to take second place behind the staff intramural basketball team. <laughs> take some time to thank the people in your life that helped you get to this point. Parents, friends, family, teachers, coaches, administrators, support staff, and many others. Most of them are here today to celebrate your success, so this shouldn't be too hard to do. Part two, take some time today to enjoy the present. This is the last time all of you will be together, so take a moment to appreciate that fact. Take the time to actually watch your classmates as they cross the stage, enjoy each other's company when you exit the stadium, and humor your family by posing for that 18th picture. 
Part three, take some time today to look, at, to, to look to the future. You are about to experience a big change in routine. No more waking up early for band. No more checking power school to see if your teacher has put that test grade in yet. I'll get to it. And no more filling out a bathroom pass before you leave a room. Embrace the change. Time is the ultimate finite resource. As we've learned today, the only way to maximize that resource is to make new memories. Class of 2019, whether it's from soccer, basketball, engineering, geometry, physics, physical science, or anywhere else we've crossed paths, you'll always be in my memory. Thanks for the last four years. Now go, go out and make the most of your time. Thank you. Hello, my name is Abby Midzik, and I've had the pleasure of serving as a class officer for the past four years. Today, I get the honor of introducing the audition student speaker. Six inspiring seniors wrote a speech and tried out for the honor, and we thank each and every one of them for their work, words, and courage to audition to stand up and deliver a message today at our graduation. Now, you might ask why we did this and made today's ceremony even longer, but we got a win-win with this. Not only do we get to hear Senior Hung win and her message to the class of 2019, but we even got Mr. Lotus to agree to shorten his speech from a mere 43 minutes. Good luck, Mr. Lotus. But in all seriousness, this next speaker is an amazing representation of this class. Her compassionate and genuine nature really shines in this speech and is sure to warm your hearts. Ladies and gentlemen, Hung Nguyen. Thank you, Abby, for the wonderful introduction. You're too kind. It's odd how people say we're starting our lives in regards to high school graduation because we've been leaving footprints from our actions for the past 18 years. There's such a notion of us being released into adulthood to experience life that it often makes us forget about the moments we've lived and the beautiful memories we've left behind in our adolescence. We can look at this start of life as the days are adding on, but a friend said to me once, I wanna see life not as counting the days until I reach a certain age, but as how many days I've already lived. What do you want to do, ask all our teachers. What do you want to be, ask all our teachers. But what have we already done? We've made so much. We've learned so much. We've cried so much and laughed so much. The rich high school careers of my peers exemplify the potential we have as people, already contributing to society, but are on the path to continue their voice, their knowledge, their colors, their drive. So it's not a new life that we'll find ourselves in. It's a continuation of the journey we've been on. But we have learned that we are the ones responsible for tomorrow. People say the youth are the future because it is our words, our ideas, our actions that determine what happens next. However, as inspiring as it is to have the future on our shoulders, I think that in the face of the world's atrocities and the billions of people that inhabit it, we feel powerless and many times insignificant. But just as you can't have a dollar without every single penny, you can't have an award-winning marching band, a formidable football team, a proud sense of school spirit, a powerful graduate class of 2019 without each and every student. Faced with the vast uncertainties of tomorrow, it's easy to feel like a grain of sand on a beach. But together, it is our brains that feel the thoughts of the future, our arms that push for its innovations, our hearts that warm up the world's love, and our words that lead for progress. We are the graduating class of 2019, and we do this together. We can't all be presidents, and we can't all be CEOs, and we can't all start nonprofit organizations, but we can put 100% of our efforts into the jobs we have. We can invest ourselves in the work we do, taking life day by day, but also growing day by day, acting on our experiences and using them to change for the better. 
We compare ourselves to everyone else and sometimes overexert ourselves with a laundry list of extracurriculars. But capability is individuality. And being the, sometime, being the best sometimes as is, isn't as important as being you. Legacy can be anything. You don't have to change the world. We're all going through life being the best we can be and doing what makes us happy. So go climb the mountain. Walk up the flight of stairs, and don't be discouraged that so many people are already on the 30th floor. Be proud you've heaved your way to the 15th. I'll be right there with you. Jeez, I'm more kind of a third floor kind of gal. I don't know. <laughs> Go fly to Mars. Not so that you can be known as the first to step foot there, but so that you can find out if aliens are green and have antennas that shoot out lasers. Stand on Mount Everest. Not so that the world can see you, but so that you can see the world. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Casey Litzow, and I have been a class officer for the past four years. We will now be moving to the music portion of our ceremony. I invite the students to stand and get ready for their performance. The class of 2019 have had choir director Mike Jones and orchestra director Michelle Casbohm, better known as Miss Brody, for all four years. Since their time here, we have seen the choir and orchestra grow in size, talent, and strength. These two passionate directors have worked extremely hard to provide a fun environment that challenges us musically, allowing students to express their love for music. This year, the music department is composed of 61 <laughs> band seniors, 23 choir seniors, and 19 orchestra seniors, with many seniors being involved in more than one group. Ms. Brody and Mr. Jones have formed a group of musicians that are confident, perform from the heart, and want to inspire others through the music. The goal is no longer to sing or to play the correct notes, but rather to feel and connect with the music. They have challenged and pushed their students to be the best that they can be, and they have ultimately taught us that music is meant to inspire to unite and change the world for the better. Without further ado, please join me in welcoming the senior choir and orchestra members directed by Mr. Jones and Ms. Brody here to perform you Go the Distance from the Disney movie Hercules. Where the great warm welcome will be. 
We, as students, have been pushed to the limits and challenged every day to strive for excellence. Although each and every one of us has proven that they are remarkable in their own ways, there are two students who have pushed themselves above and beyond, maintaining a stellar academic excellence amongst the trials and challenges of high school. This first valedictorian never fails to amaze and inspire me. From the playground of Highland View to walking the halls of the high school together, I have never seen anything but a desire to achieve from one of my best friends. She achieved the success not through cutthroat competition, but by pushing me and our peers to learn because we want to, not because we have to. In the words of William Longgood, dreams and dedication are a powerful combination. With a dream of fulfilling her best, this valedictorian dedicated and disciplined herself to her education day in and day out. It is my pleasure to welcome the first valedictorian and my childhood best friend, Anna Turto, to the podium. Thank you, Abby, for that amazing introduction. My fellow graduates, it seems crazy that only four years ago, we walked through the doors of Greendale High School as young freshmen, ready to see all that high school had to offer. And now, we are celebrating our graduation and starting the next stages of our lives. High school definitely wasn't always easy, with late nights studying and learning to balance academics, sports, music, jobs, and a social life, but we all figured it out and survived. It was not only a time of learning, but also of making memories and having fun, which is something that this class definitely knows how to do. The past four years have truly been remarkable and now we have walked through the doors of GHS as a student one last time and are ready to embark on the journey that our future holds. As we go our separate ways and take the knowledge that we gain from high school with us, we will learn more about ourselves and grow into the adults that we will one day become. Not everything will be easy, but if we remain determined ambitious and persevere through our challenges, 
we can create the futures that we have always hoped for. We should be willing to step out of our comfort zone, explore the uncertainty that is in front of us, and embrace our true passions because we only live once. So why not create the futures that we want? We all have a passion, whether or not we know it yet. For some, it may be defending our country, well, for others, it may be medicine, art, the skilled trades, or business. There are endless possibilities. But no matter what our passions are, we each can create a bright future that reflects what we are truly passionate about and use it to make an impact, big or small. So as we move on to the next stages of our lives, wherever that may take us, I encourage my fellow classmates to find what they are passionate about and to create a future that embodies it. Because in the words of Walt Disney, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. And now, to the class of 2019, we did it. Congratulations and thank you. Hello, friends and family of Greendale High School. My name is Luke Marcheseau, and I'm the Secretary Treasurer and a Senior Class Officer of 2019. The person I am honored to introduce to you is not only one of the brightest members of our class, but one of my oldest and dearest friends, Andrew Woodlars. I'll never forget, one day in elementary school, I went to his house after I'd learned what the periodic table of elements was. One week later, he had the entire table committed to memory. Drew's persistent efforts to learn and absorb knowledge will no doubt lead him to immeasurable success. Not only does Drew possess an inherent passion for the maths and sciences, he's chosen to pursue a multitude of facets to expand his horizons. Be it through mastering the French horn, extensive research on personalized medicine through Smart Team, or qualifying for the National Merit Scholarship, Drew's diversified talents are just another quality that defines him as an exemplary student. Though we've taken our different roads in life, I'm glad we got to share the ride a little while. Here's to you, Drew. First of all, I would like to thank Luke for the wonderful introduction. I would also like to thank my friends, my family, and my teachers for helping me get to this point. It's been a long road, and I couldn't have traveled it without each of you. Graduation is an event focused on reflection. We reflect upon high school through the diplomas we receive, through speeches made here, and through everything else we do today. In fact, part of why I'm here is because I'm good at remembering things, perhaps too good. I can't stop <laughs> reflecting on things, whether I'm remembering a mathematical formula or overthinking some mistake I made, I can't help but reflect. Yet, the idea of reflection implies something more than just thinking about the past. Reflection, definitionally, has another side. When we look at ourselves in the mirror, we are attempting to glimpse something we can't normally see. Similarly, when we reflect on the past, we are also trying to see an unseeable future. In the spirit of this, I considered what the future may look like for everyone graduating today. Many of us will be going to college, studying whatever we're interested in. Others of us will go into the workforce or the military. Each of us has plans that suit our unique goals. Throughout this future, we will deal with struggles we haven't yet faced and find opportunities we can't yet imagine. It is difficult to tell what the future holds, but after holding up a mirror and reflecting today, it is clear that the future looks bright for each of us. Thank you.
Thank you, Anna and Drew, for your inspiring words and dedication to Greendale High School. My name is Carly Rudd, and I have had the honor of serving as student council class officer the past four years, as well as vice president this past year. Many of us have been looking forward to today for a while now, and in spite of our excitement, I'm sure many of my peers, myself included, have wanted time to slow down throughout our last, mo last few moments here at GHS. As we take a minute to look back on our high school career, we are able to realize how many people have been there for us along the way. We have our families, friends, teachers, counselors, coaches, and many more to thank for contributing to our successes, supporting us in times of need, and helping us to create memories that we will cherish forever. So, before you applaud us, we would like to applaud you. Now is the time, graduates, to look around this stadium, this field, and into your memories and recognize who should be thanked and appreciated for shaping you into who you are and preparing you to walk across this stage today. Now we get a chance to honor those people. I ask our graduating class to stand, stand and give a big shout out and round of applause to these people. Let them know you appreciate their support. Thank you. Please be seated. As you can probably tell from the round of applause, my classmates and I are not sitting before you today merely because of our own hard work and dedication, although that played a big part as well but because we have been blessed with many positive influences that have guided us through our high school journey. Somewhere on this rather long list of supporters is our principal. Whether you see him attending school events, saying a quick hello to students whenever he is able to get into the halls, or seriously thinking about joining the seniors on their makeshift slip and slide on the front lawn the last day of school, he is constantly trying to look out for us, even if we do not always notice it. He not only strives to help us be the best students we can be, but to become great people as well. On behalf of myself and my peers, I would like to thank and introduce to the podium our principal, Mr. Steve Lotus. At no time was I clothed to do the slip and slide, so you don't have to worry about that or access the cameras in front of the school. Um, as Class Officer Abby so eloquently put it for me, um, I didn't forget my promise. I have my timer. I'm shooting for five minutes. That's what it was last night on my back patio, so I'm going to try that again. Certainly, there is a lot to celebrate when thinking about the accomplishments of the class of 2019. So I'll simply start by thanking each of these young men and women. Thank you for working so hard to do all of the things that you did, both in and out of the classrooms. Thank you for carrying on our fine traditions of academic achievement and award. In fact, you amassed more than $3.1 million worth of scholarships, very close to our highest total ever. Thank you for giving us the great athletic moments on our fields of play. Thank you for the hard work and dedication take, it takes to impress us on our performing arts stages. You really are a talented bunch. And thank you for your outstanding spirit and your accomplishments, definitely carried out in your own interesting style. I often base my graduation address around saying a lyric, a theme, some sort of clever piece of advice. Sometimes Google is involved. Sometimes I hear something being talked about on the radio on the way to school and get inspiration from that. But this year, I was intrigued by some of the senior quotes you all put in the yearbook. So this year, I draw my inspiration from you. 
your words, your attempts to be reflective or funny, and sometimes both. Using your words, I'm going to try to communicate a single theme that I think will lead to a more satisfying life and make you happier in the choices and the decisions that are ahead of you. Introducing this lesson begins with some of your related quotes. Quentin Eisman quotes Kid Cudi when he says, excuses hold you back, action moves you forward. Ashlyn Sander quotes football's Jimmy Johnson when she reminds us that the difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little bit extra. The plain wisdom of Dawson Voss's quote of, if it's easy, you simply aren't trying hard enough. The humorous but effective, the only time I set the bar low is for limbo, is Margaret Anaxtopoulos's quoting Michael Scott. And I really like, and I was stuck on, Jackson Zagola's quote that tells us, the beginning of real improvement starts at the end of your comfort zone. Let's take a look at Jackson's quote a little further. I think he is asking us to be courageous with our lives, to not simply settle for things that exist in our safe comfort zones. He is telling you not to resemble the somewhat scary but still funny Kalen McGee quote of I peaked in preschool. <laughs> the beginning of real improvement starts with the end of your comfort zone. It's telling us to actively choose to get better each day, to push ourselves towards being Towards, our, towards things that may make us initially uncomfortable, but then ultimately realizing that you need to be in control of your own future. Over my 13 years here at GHS, I have seen the most successful of our students making the time, simply making the time to explore, to try things most students and most adults are still too tentative to do. It isn't easy. You have to work hard on, at stuff you like if you want to be good at what you do. It might be awkward, but as Miranda Miles echoes in her quote of Jake the dog, I have no idea who Jake the dog is, but the dog said, dude, sucking at something is the first step towards being sort of good at something. I always wanted to say that at a graduation, so. So, what can you do, students? Well, if you think you may want to work in the health sciences, well then, go see if you can shadow or volunteer somewhere in the medical field. If you think that you may want to be an accountant or a bookkeeper, volunteer or seek out an internship in a business that interests you. If you want to be a teacher, volunteer in a school or work in a tutoring center. If you take the time to look, many of these opportunities are available to get a better look at what could be in your future. Yeah, you're going to have to do some things that your friends aren't doing. As I said before, you may have to do something you think is out of your comfort zone. You may even have to forgo some of the fun things in life in order to get an accurate picture of your aspirations. But take the time, make the commitment, do it for you. At some point in this journey through your life, your future has, become, has to become more important to you than to anybody else in your life. Your future is more important than what you think looking cool is at this time of your lives. Your future is more important than just going along with something because saying no might be a bit uncomfortable. Your future is more important than going along with the crowd because everyone is doing it. Take the time for you, make the commitment for you. Quite simply, you are an individual with your own talents, challenges, aspirations, and each day you simply have to try to get better at being a better version of yourself. And really, that is what growing up actually is. It's trial and error, it's continuous improvement, it's working to gain the confidence to actively lead your life. A great closing thought on this is from actor and director Alan Alda, as quoted by Abby Braun in the yearbook. You have to leave the city of your comfort to go into the wilderness of your intuition. You get there only by hard work and risk and by not quite knowing what you're doing. But what you'll discover will be wonderful and what you'll discover will be a little bit of yourself. I will end by sharing a song lyric and a lesson that I almost always close my graduation speeches with. It comes from one of my favorite songwriters and musicians, Ike Riley, who writes a thought-provoking lyric that relates to the challenge of getting out of your comfort zones. Ike writes and sings, somewhere between our dreams and our fears is life. Somewhere between dreams and fears is life. We all know what our dreams are, but your fears can range from life-paralyzing thoughts like, I'm not ready for that. I'm not smart enough for that. What will people think of me? I don't know enough about that to try it. That's not going to work for me. Or the infuriating, I'm good. I'll just keep being me. Somewhere between dreams 
and fears his life. And I can tell you from now 52 years of experience, chock full of many successes and easily just as many failures, that is the balance between your dreams and your fears. It'll be a constant tug on you as you make decisions throughout your lives. And you're not alone. The search for this balance is a struggle for everyone you see in front of you today. The most successful people realize this struggle and work hard to make their lives much more about their dreams and much less about their fears. Life is not about waiting to find yourself. It is about making good, active choices and creating yourself. If you do this, you're going to have less regret. You will give yourself a better shot for happiness, and you will learn more things about this world and, more importantly, about yourself along the way. And you are all ready to do this. Getting back to the yearbook, Maddie Dalton quotes the sage Dwight K. Schrute when she says, I am ready to face any challenge that might be foolish enough to face me. My timer right now is at an also infuriating seven minutes and 10 seconds. So I'm going to wrap it up. Um, enjoy these last moments as the class of 2019. Like I said at rehearsal yesterday, you're never going to get this day, this group together like you are right now on the turf of Gavinsky Field. No matter what you do, no matter where you go, you'll take a bit of this place, these people, and your high school experience at the G along with you. You are well prepared, able to do beautiful and important things in this world. Go out and lean towards your dreams, lean away from your fears. Be courageous with your lives. Congratulations, class of 2019. Officers, bring your name list. And me, Thank you, Mr. Lotus, for using our own words against us. In just a few short minutes, my classmates and I will go walk across that stage, and our journey through Greendale High School and the high school years will officially be over. For the four years, we have worked tirelessly to get this moment. There have been many successes and failures, friendships formed and lost, and a whole lot of late nights, really late nights, mostly working on homework. <laughs> but through all these peaks and valleys, we've made it. And now it's our moment to celebrate. Now we begin the awarding of the diplomas, and the names will be read by the senior class officers. We remind all in attendance to be respectful in your response to our graduates so that each family can experience their students' awarding of their diploma. I invite the first row of graduates to stand and would like to congratulate the entire class of 2019. Ellen Abad Santos, Ismail Adami, Meme Adami, Omar Albader, Zahara Al Dalemi, Margaret Anegnasopoulos. Theodore Anagnostopoulos. Mitchell Anderson. Ruby Anderson. Nicholas Arians. Raymond Arndorfer. Russell Arndorfer. Alec Bailey. Bailey Balthazar.
Mohamed Barakat. Isaac Beecher. Christina Belmontes. Enrique Belmontes. Arniak Bhattacharya. Lynn Berkabin. Risto Blagopovich. Courtney Bondar. Amelie Bonani. Dusan Bozic. Samuel Braun. Abigail Braun. Jared Brockman. Cedric Carrion. Zane Chai. Ben Charles. Tyler Sierra. Jack Clearman. Zachariah Klopper. Talia Contreras. Oh, shoot. Maya Colon. Daniel Cortez. Okay. Maria Corshane. Sebastian D'Amico. Luke D'Angelo. Mohammed Daducha. Noel Daducha. Madeline Dalton. William Decker. Nina Delgadillo. Savannah Deloney. Michaela DeBella. Alyssa Dobbs. Joshua Dooley. Madeline Drury. Austin Duhlman. Brianna Dunn. Joshua Diamond. Quentin Eisman. Ethan Ahrens. Megan Evans. Elena Farley. Caleb Farrow. Matthew Fowser. Cameron Fisher. Mitchell Fisher. Nor Fleifel. Jared Foker. Cody Frammy. Benjamin Francel. Avery Fritch. Shannon Gamble. Cole Gendru. Yeah, 
Austin Giese. Joshua Gilbert. Kristen Gilmore. Jane Gazdoyak. Lauren Greenberg. Benjamin Grenier. Ariel Griffin. Alexandra Gannett Borden. Omar Hamad. Sufyan Haroon. Mohammed Hassan. Alexandria Hensel. Nancy Herr. Brianna Homantowski. Marvin Hossein. Ellen Hattinger. Hudson Hughes. Andrew Jack. Madeline Jacobs. Asala Jamaladeen. Jordan Jenjak. James Johnson. Sarah Josephson. Jennifer Justice. Cole Kallenberger. Carly Keen. Jacob Klug. Radha Krishna Kothapali. Valentina Kukurazovic. Gary Kapinski. John Latona. James Laskowski. Megan Lawson. Joseph Leach. Anthony Likas. Anina Lee. Jessica Lemke. Connor Leffler. Andrew Lynch. Rachel Macheski. Kayla Madishaw. Kayla Megarowski. Amanda Majeski. Yusuf Majid. Selena Marshall. Nicole Martin. Kaylin McGee. Arceli Mendoza. Megan Mevis. Afia Mian. Morgan Mickelson. 
Miranda Miles. Maya Miller. Connor Mills. Joshua Mills. Miles Montenegro. Tyler Muthi. Ryan Rosensky. J.R. Muth. Jack Nelson. Dylan Newman. Eric Neustifter. Haley Newton. Brian Gwen. Natalie Norton. Ethan O'Brien. Brendan O'Donnell. Christian Olson. Jordan Olette. Michael Parrish. Madison Patty. Jonathan Pollock. Allison Pintar. Riley Polasek. Isabella Pond. John Poppy. Yamina Powell. <laughs> Claudio Proco. Noah Radka. Madison Ryder. Marilyn Reyes. Nicholas Richland. Emmanuel Rivera. Okay, I got it, I got it. Maria Rudich. Gianna Rupnik. Austin Sabar. Salah, right? Okay. Mahmoud Salah. Sean Sanchez. Yvette Sanchez. Ashlyn Sanders. Tanner Sanator. Michaela Saranac. Selena Sarnowski. Tess Schaefer. Anthony Seeks. Tylee Seabants. Margaret Shaughnessy. Lauren Simmons. 
Harpreet Singh. Madison Score. Can you get Abby over here? The next name is hers. Michaela Skiff. Brenna Smalley. Giovanni Smichek Rivera. Austin Sokolovsky. Nathan Soror. Gavin Steele. Samantha Swensky. Samuel Swatel. Helena Taavau. Madison Taichert. Julia Diaz. <laughs> Carly Thorson. Joshua Tickner. Paul Tates. Ryan Unruh. Samuel Vale. Gabrielle Van Dyke. Tubi Vang. Joshua Varish. Andrew Vay. Diana Victory. Miguel Viaforte. Desanka Vorkapich. Dawson Voss. Joshua Warner. Alexander Wasted. Sarah Welch. Joelle Williams. Mari Williams. Maceo Wooden. Tyler Reitzman. Robert Yaccarino. Rachel Young. Sebastian Young Pikulik. Jackson Zagola. And now our senior student speaker, Hung Win. Our two valedictorians, Anna Turdo. Andrew Widlars. And our senior class officers, Anna Hawley. Casey Litzow. Luke Marcheseau. Carly Rudd. Angeline Terry. <laughs> Ab
Abigail Amidzik. Thank you for your patience. The anticipation grows. And now, the senior class officers, valedictorians, and the senior class speaker will lead the entire senior class in the turning of the tassel. So graduates, class of 2019, please stand up. Get ready to turn your tassel. One, two, turn. Friends and families, I present to you the Greendale High School graduating class of 2019. Congratulations. <laughs> 